I know we just did a CKN Reacts video yesterday, but there's another one that needs to be done, and this is not so much 100% a reaction to the story where, you know, we take a look at it and it's analyzed. It's more of an opinion video, I guess, and that's why it's titled as such. Uh, at ACDC, we of course just got some, some bad news from their camp, is the fact that Doctors have urged that Brian Johnson cease touring immediately out of risk of his hearing. He could face full and damaging hearing loss. Uh, he could go completely deaf uh, if he continues touring. You might think that this is, you know, deafness not that big of a deal, but for a musician that is a really big deal considering you got to be able to hear yourself and hear what's going on, uh, else you're going to miss cues. It's extremely damaging. It is career-threatening. Uh, and really, if it were to come to full hearing loss, it would be career-ending for, for Brian Johnson. And, of course, there was a situation that have uh, that has been occurring for the past 18 months or so within the band. Uh, Malcolm Young, of course, being diagnosed with dementia as well as some other things and having to leave the band. They did replace him, but then the Phil Rudd controversy and uh, all of that. You know, they were able to restock the, the band, but... Uh, at this point in time, in 2016, um, more than 40 years, in fact, it's bordering on getting close to 50 years ever since uh, ACDC first burst onto the scene. Uh, I, I think it's honestly okay, and I think it's fine if we can let him go. And I don't mean that to be cruel. I don't mean that to sound like an asshole, or I don't mean to, for that to sound uh, as though their contributions are irrelevant, that... ACDC is a group that's just very easy to say goodbye to because obviously their influence and their impact on rock and roll and heavy metal is a major one. They are a hugely important band, one of the most successful within the genre of all time, and just a group that has easily moved and swayed so many people and have no doubt encouraged so many uh, musicians to pick up their instrument for the first time and believe that they can make it in this music game. But, you know, at this point, the band has been going through such a difficult stretch whenever it comes to uh, the members and their health and this or that, and of course the legal troubles with Phil. I, I think it's just time that either the band stays within the studio and maybe has this be the last, or maybe this is going to be the last, or I don't know. It's, it's to the point right now where they are going to fulfill... Uh, the tour dates that are going to be missed at a later date, but they're going to do so with a guest vocalist. They're going to bring somebody else in. And I think that we could all agree that at this point, uh, the name ACDC alone isn't really the selling point for us all. Uh, it, it's really sort of the people that make up the band. It is the faces, it is the attitudes, and the, the names, really, that make up this band. Uh, it is the, the Malcolm and Angus Young, it is the Brian Johnson, you know, it was Bon Scott prior to his death. Um, you know, it, it's something where you don't want to see a caravan of, I don't want to really say wannabes, but a caravan of replacements really keep this thing going on, similar to what, you know, Leonard Skinner has done, albeit successfully, or kind of what we saw from Kiss in the 1980s, whenever they're membership included names such as Bruce Kulik. Um, I, I think that this is a group where they're at the stage of their career, they're at that stage in their life where we as a, as a musical people, we as fans of this group can learn to live with celebrating their career through the music that they have given us, through the memories that they have given us, through the live experiences that they have given us as opposed to demanding that they continue to to press on where it is obviously becoming a, a bit of a threat to their health. And it's to the point where careers uh, have ended and careers, more careers could end. Of course, last year, in late August, early September, we expressed this kind of concern for, for Lemmy. And of course, this past December, we had the unfortunate duty of saying goodbye to one of our most familiar friends in this heavy metal industry, in this heavy metal life of ours, and it was easily 
uh, one of the hardest days, if not the hardest day of 2016, and it occurred right after Christmas, almost as though Satan decided to donkey punch us directly after uh, a day where a bunch of us probably got some new great metal gifts and goodies. Or maybe Jesus did it, who the hell knows. Uh, the point of it is, is that at this stage, what I would at least personally like to see is, is to see Brian err on the side of caution, and for the band just to just to be willing to accept slowing down and become ambassadors really to this genre of music. Become something more than just a face in the crowd or a band that goes out on stage. You know, your contribution at ACDC as a band has shook the world for decades. You know, now is a great time to be a great ambassador for this genre, to make this genre more alluring to the youth, uh, to really promote this genre and, you know, make people fall in love with rock and roll again. You don't have to do that by performing it, is essentially what I'm saying. Uh, it's a difficult, it, this has been, you know, these are difficult pills to swallow, you know. Uh, last year I never thought that I would be saying that we will no longer hear and see a Motorhead show, but of course that's what uh, age and time ha has caused, and it happens not just in this genre of music, this is of course covered on this channel rather exclusively, so that's why it seems like it's the only one that gets discussed. Uh, but it's one that happens across the board, it is just the, the, the life cycle of a musician, the life cycle of a human being, uh, the life cycle of a band. So. Uh, I think that it is time, and it is, it's perfectly okay, you know, I am 100% accepting that if after these these last couple of shows, these makeup shows, ACDC just decided uh, to walk away, uh, I would be okay with that. We don't need any sort of fun and fancy last hurrah, some massive world tour that could no doubt ruin Brian Johnson's hearing, although the bastard's crazy enough to do it for the fans, and I'll tell you what, brother, that's an appreciated, th you know, appreciated thought, but uh, you gotta look out for you, you know, um, you know, deafness might not be the same as cancer, or might not be the same as, as dementia, which your, your bandmate is suffering through, but, um, I, I think that in a year such as 2016, we don't want to return uh, to this couch that I'm sitting on right now and speak about the passing of uh, of a member of ACDC. Uh, I don't think we want to do that. I certainly don't want to do that for, for years. I would much rather uh, we have a couple of years to digest your career, celebrate it and everything um, before we have to say goodbye. So, um, this is just my thoughts. Uh, uh, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'm Kevin Killer Nation and we're going to get back to music, hopefully, uh, tomorrow. That's my plan. We'll see if it happens. But uh, this was a pretty big story, uh, at least for me, considering uh, I, I really don't want to see the same thing happen again.